Thank you so much, Monsignor. I'm Chris Drescher, and I thank you in advance for your attention as I spend a few minutes today discussing our parish's BAA goal, how you can get involved, and then what our timeline is. So since I've been the chair of the Bishop's Annual Appeal, I've heard the acronym BAA quite a bit. A thought recently came to mind about BAA. It's also a word, so bad, right? A baby sheep, otherwise known as a lamb, says bad when it needs something. So basically, it's a cry for help. Isn't it appropriate that the acronym for the Bishop's Annual Appeal is the same word as a lamb calling for help? Since Christ is the Lamb of God, when you donate to the BAA, you are answering Christ's call for help by supporting the many programs that Monsignor referenced that, uh, in Eastern North Carolina. Okay, so now let's talk about specifics. So first, I want to thank each and every one of you who contributed to last year's BAA. It was truly a team effort, and we were not only able to meet the goal, but we exceeded our goal. The overage was returned to the parish, which we then allocated to our new facilities fund, so it came back to us. Fortunately, the diocese did not increase our goal this year, so as Monsignor mentioned, it's $103,685, and I'm confident that with your generosity, we'll be able to meet our goal once again. If you don't have a lot to give, that's okay. But just remember that every dollar does count. So Mother Teresa once said, we know only too well that what we are doing is nothing more than a drop in the ocean. But if the drop were not there, the ocean would be missing something. So we'd love to have everyone participate in whatever way they can. Remember, when God blesses us financially, we should be raising our standard of giving rather than our standard of living. So last year, if you remember, I asked our parishioners to add an extra 10% to what they were considering giving. It was like really heartwarming to see how many of you stepped up and gave 10% more. If you can increase your donation by 10% again this year, that would be fantastic. However, this year with Lent approaching, I want to challenge you to consider a sacrificial gift and involve your family if you can. I'll leave it to you to decide exactly how you'll go about it, but I do have a, like an example and a suggestion. So I'm sure we all spend a lot of money on food and eating out. Like the average family of four spends 40 to $50 at restaurants like Chick-fil-A or Panera. And if you go to like Chili's or Outback or Olive Garden, you're talking about it being $70, $80 or more. I'd like to suggest that once a week for the six weeks during Lent, on a day that you would traditionally go out to eat, instead stay home, have soup, pasta, or even peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Share with your family that you're donating what you would have spent at the restaurant to help others. In this simple example that I just gave you, you'd be able to give $250 or more by that end of the six-week period. I guarantee that this gift will make, that, that the um, sacrifice will make your gift more memorable. They'd be setting a great example for your kids as well. Okay, so finally, let's talk about timing. We did meet our goal last year, but it took until the end of May to do so. Now, I met with Monsignor on Friday, and he informed me that when he went outside Friday morning, he did not see his shadow, which means we should be done with the BAA in the next four weeks, right? So all joking aside, we really like to reach our commitment goal before Easter this year. And Easter's a little bit early. It's at the very end of March. So that may sound like an aggressive timeline, but we've already got great momentum with the $15,000 or more that um, has already been pledged and donated. So I know, I know we could do it. Many of you I saw at the parish potluck dinner the other night, and so many people showed up, and everyone contributed by bringing so much delicious food to the party. There's like this energy in the air as we all came together and celebrated. Monsignor shared with each of us how blessed he felt to have been placed here by God in Hampstead and be given the opportunity to serve all of us. Everyone got up and gave him a much-deserved standing ovation as our way of saying thank you to him for all he's done for us. 
and I was really moved by the whole thing, I thought to myself, you know, here's a man who has left his country, he's left his family and friends, and even the language he knew, to come here and serve our community. He gave and continues to give of himself joyfully to us. So let's do something for him in return and make this the first year we meet the BA goal in just a few short weeks rather than a few months. So I'm confident that if we all pull together, we'll be able to reach our goal quickly. Uh, the easier way to pledge actually is if you look at the brochure that's in your, probably in your seat, there is a little QR code inside the brochure in the back. If you take a picture of that, that will direct you to the website, to the diocese. It's really easy to fill out. You can do a direct deposit from your account instead of writing a check. You can do it via credit card if you want to get a, a rewards balance on it or something. But I encourage you to use that because it's a really simple way to do it. And it only takes a couple of minutes to do it that way. You don't have to do the online donation, but let's, let's make sure that we give and give soon. Um, I want to thank you in advance for all that you've done in the past and all that I know that you'll do in the future for this church and for the BAA. And I thank you for the time.